Hi there Capricorn, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 21st of March. Because your sign is ruled by Saturn, which is the planet of wisdom, you often appreciate more than perhaps some other zodiac signs that a certain amount of security is important in life. This makes you more grown up in your outlook. You don't tend to get so carried away by uh, fripperies. You're more interested in what's solid, lasting, and that gives you that sense of feeling stable. Now this week, the Sun and Mercury start to cooperate in the part of your horoscope that's very much to do with where you live, how you live there, and also your emotional uh, identity. But if we think back, there has actually been a lot of energy in this sector over the last three or four years through the erratic vibe of Uranus. And I do feel that between now and the end of April, you're going to become a lot clearer on who you really are and who you need to be. Because the planet of, of Mars, which is in your sector of personal discovery, is forging a fantastic alliance with both the Sun and Mercury this week, which could lead to some very telling conversations. You may be surprised by the depth of some of these. They're unlikely to be particularly superficial, but you can learn a great deal more about what makes you tick or the people who are really important to you. But Saturn, your strict ruler, is going to be going into a retrograde from Friday for five and a half months. So I think generally the next part of this year is going to see you just clearing up the loose ends, anything that's outstanding from your past that you're not really settled with, that hasn't been resolved, that may need some further investigation or thinking about. I do think that's going to be a bit of a process and this week can really see you much more active in grappling with all of this. Now it's not just because the Sun and Mercury are combining with Mars and in very sensitive areas. It's because there's a lunar eclipse on Wednesday and this lunar eclipse in Libra is very much about how you link with the world at large and it's tying in with the solar eclipse of the 9th of March which was very much about how you think. Your ideas and the way that you're appreciated by people in general need to feed that sense of security that's being really highlighted now. So look to be with people or do pursuits that feed and nurture you, that make you feel a much more uh, content human being. The people who don't feed you, that don't make you feel so secure and don't understand what really makes you tick are going to be much less attractive to you. Yet despite all this more serious energy, there is actually a very frivolous link between Venus and Jupiter in the second half of this week. And it could be that you could have a flirty moment, an interesting email or text, or connect with someone in a very much more mental way. But take everything back around your personal identity, your role in life, your ideas, take it all back to what feels really comfortable. Listen to your intuition, let it truly guide you. If something doesn't feel right, however compelling at a logical level it seems, listen to that, dismiss it from your situation, and that will guide you forwards. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.